It's a busy day at this bank in the inner Perth suburb of Wembley. Customers are rushing in before it closes for good. I should be crying, not smiling. <laughs> I am really, really annoyed that they put money and profits before their customers. Bankwest recently announced it's closing 45 of its branches across Western Australia, while 15 regional sites will be converted to Commonwealth banks. But to read it in the paper in the West Australian before clients were told, no, we're appalling. Where will you go? I have no idea. The bank's going all digital, but long-time customers, like Mavis, aren't ready to ditch cash. Lots of years of saving there with little bits for my grandchildren. But of course, my grandchildren are now digital bankers and they'll be inconvenienced. So it's a whole history going down. Bankwest, a WA-based subsidiary of the Commonwealth Bank, made the announcement last week, citing changing customer preferences and claiming fewer than 2% of customers visit a branch regularly. But the union representing bank workers claims that's not the full picture. When banks say um, customers are actually making these decisions, that's not 100% true. A lot of the customers are being driven to that by the bank's own behaviours. Wendy Streets from the Finance Sector Union says these scanned documents sent to 7.30 show the bank has been pushing customers away from their bricks and mortar stores for years. She points to a 2020 job description for a teller role at Bankwest, which lists support migration initiatives as a key task and experience proactively migrating customers as a desirable trait, while a 2024 document of performance indicators lists digital migration as a KPI. She says the strategy is not unique to Bankwest. It's actually our members uh, responsibility in their day job to actually start that conversation with the customers, tell them that they don't, you know, they shouldn't be doing these transactions over the counter anymore. There's a more efficient and simpler way for them to do their banking and they're going to show them how to do that. If they don't do that, they end up on performance related issues with the employer. It is monitored every day. In a statement, Bankwest told 7.30, our company-wide goals are focused on helping our customers access simple and easy banking solutions. And it will always be important to educate our customers on alternative banking options safely and securely. And we receive positive feedback from many customers on the choice and convenience this offers them. Across Australia, the number of total bank branches has fallen from about 5,700 in 2017 to just 3,500 last year. The number of ATMs has shrunk by 60%. The trend is really being felt in the country's regional and remote communities, including in the Pilbara town of Tom Price, which lost its only bank branch, a Westpac, over a year ago. It's caused headaches for local businesses, like the Karajini Eco Retreat. The reality is that um, not everybody's ready to switch to completely cashless yet. So there's dollars that we have to bank somewhere. Um, so if the banks are going to withdraw from regional areas, those services need to be taken up by somebody uh, so that we can actually continue to operate and take the risk off the properties for holding cash. Tom Price residents say they now face a 700 kilometre round trip if they need to visit a bank in person, or some are flying to Perth with bags full of cash to deposit. The reality was that the cash is still coming in and we're forced to take that cash all the way to Perth to deposit it, which you know, is unacceptable really in this day and age. Major frustration and, and unrealistic risk for the person carrying the money. Tom Price is the latest town to host a travelling Senate inquiry into bank closures in regional Australia. Today, the Ashburton Aboriginal Corporation was among those called to speak about the impact on locals. The digital divide is huge. We have a lot of our communities that do not have access to reliable phone network, internet networks are lacking. That makes it very difficult for community members to access any online banking systems um, or use electronic payment methods. The committee, chaired by Queensland Senator Matt Canavan, is expected to hand its report to the federal government in May. Some political parties are banking on branch closures becoming a federal election issue. The only people who don't like it 
It's the number one focus of the little-known Citizens' Party, which also has some controversial views like rejecting climate change hysteria, but is mainly pushing for a new publicly-owned post office bank service. We can make banking a service again. The party's director, Robert Barwick, has travelled to WA for the Senate hearing. Our party represents the citizens. We are frustrated that the reason we exist, we believe, is because the major parties too often represent vested interests and they leave the citizens behind. This is a decision that's going to save the banks money. A lot of Australians are shareholders of banks. Can you really blame the banks for making a smart business decision? You may be a shareholder, but you're related to someone who's being stiffed by what the banks are doing here. The, the day your grandmother gets ripped off $400,000 by some scammer overseas because she had to use online banking rather than the safety of a bank branch, is that shareholding going to be worth it? Consider your customers and not your shareholders. And that goes for all the banks because they're all making huge profits. I weep every time I see they've, for this quarter, they've made a million dollars profit. And I think at whose cost?